Okay, we've created a new adjustment layer. We want to colour this, and you will find that if you don't have a black background layer, you will not be able to colour anything that is <laughs> you want to colour. So make sure you've got the background layer and it's pure black. Okay, go to the adjustment layer, and if you're not familiar with adjustment layers, what they do is whatever effect you apply to them, they apply the effect to every single um, layer underneath them. So what we want to do is select the adjustment layer, effect, color correction, and you can go on Colorama, try that out. You can go on to output cycle and go into fire and you can make it look like a fireball around you and stuff like that. It's really cool. This comes standard with Adobe After Effects 7.0. I'm not sure about 6.0 because I've never used it before now. Um, you can go between certain stuff like that. You can add all really cool effects and deep ocean. But when you're using Colorama, make sure you um, you don't want a background layer when you're using Colorama. And since we're not using Colorama, we will delete the Colorama effect from the adjustment layer. Okay, what I want to use is effect color correction and color balance you want to preserve luminosity and then drag around with these until you get the, the desired color okay that's a nice bluey purple and if you want to make it more the Dragon Ball Z-ish blue power up you can drag in the green to give it that lighter blue effect which also makes it look a bit like Gohan's <laughs> key energy being exposed but anyway um, you can make it gold by turning the blue to zero and this is again if you're thinking about making super scenes in your films and stuff then you want to drag up the red until you get a goldy colour and you want to drag the red midtones I tend not to touch the shadows as they give it a false effect so like right in that and it's given sometimes it looks okay it depends what effect you're trying to get across so like that you've got the dark outline around it and you can see like where all the black is it's darkened it well lightened it to a red um i think it gives a false effect so but uh, at the end of the day it's up to you so once we've got that that's all good and we've got the color we've got it all sorted so we go back into project and now we want to get this picture behind it but if we drag this picture behind there you see it starts to color the image all funny and stuff so what you want to do is you want to drag it your aura composition into the new aura uh, the new sorry the new composition button and it'll open your previous composition in a new composition but all the effects stored on one layer with the adjustment layer configured under only this layer so when you put more layers in it the adjustment layer from the the original comp doesn't affect anything now so because it's pre-rendered and as you can see we still can't see the image even though we've dragged it behind and that's because um, if you remember we have a black background on the original comp so what we need to do is right click this layer blending mode and screen okay we we can see the aura and we can see the subject behind it okay I want to resize this and once again I want to get rid of the white so effects, keying, color key, I drop R, white, to apply it there. You want to go to edge feather, drag it out so it's a glow, edge fin, and ta da, right. Now you can see we've got the Sun Goku behind the aura which looks pretty cool and you can drag about the aura and stuff if you didn't have repeat edge pixels on when you've got a massive glow it doesn't glow to the boundaries of the um it will only glow to the boundaries of the composition size so this is kind of awkward when you're moving about with the composition so sometimes I tend to make it a bit bigger than my actual video size but we can toggle around with this to give it or Dragon Ball Z ish look, you can mess around with the opacity and stuff of the layer so you can see through it a bit better. But now, if we do a RAM preview, um, composition preview, RAM preview, 
will get your PC to start um, rendering the scene. And yeah, so if you stay tuned or subscribe to me or whatever you want, leave feedback and you know, rate the videos, whatever you want. I really don't care about the response. However, I will take any advice given and we'll continue to make more After Effects tutorials. In future episodes, I'll be showing you how to create fire with realistic fire with the standard Adobe After Effects um, effects that are pre built into the program. I'll also be showing you Kamehameha's, lightsabers, um, just general key energy effects and stuff like that. So once you've got two seconds, let's just press spacebar and let's watch it. Okay, the effect's cool, but um, like I say, you can mess around with the settings if you go back to the original composition. Um, click on the aura, you can mess around with the fractal noise so it gives you more of a upwards effect or whatever you want it to give you, you can just mess around with these settings, try and like, you know, so yeah, thanks for watching, stay tuned, subscribe, comment, rate, thanks a lot, hope you learned something from this tutorial.